Okay, uh, before I start, uh, okay, you know, due to uh, risks in the possible way for, uh, please, uh, please do not have any gatherings of uh, five people, uh, you know. And uh, this is uh, from a, a doctor, uh, who, uh, you know, Dr. Peter Juni. And other uh, doctors, uh. So, anyway, the uh, today's coronavirus case is uh, is uh, four hundred and eleven. Uh, it's uh, coronavirus the day four fifty four. Okay, phase one is uh, starting on Friday. Two days later. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, Ninety-seven cases are from Toronto. Seventy-two is from Peel Region. Thirty-five is from uh, Waterloo Region. Uh, Twenty-six is from New York Region. Uh, Twenty-five is from uh, Hamilton. Uh, all other uh, regions are reported under uh, twenty-five. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so. Uh, 33 deaths have been reported, uh, huh. okay, so, so, variant cases, uh, so, uh, of course, uh, so the UK, uh, alpha is, uh, at, uh, 134,608, uh, now, uh, with an increase of a uh, plus, uh, 902, uh, South African, uh, variant, uh, beta, is, uh, at, uh, 1,125, uh, right now, an uh, increase of a uh, plus, uh, 28, so, uh, Brazilian, uh, variant of gamma is, uh, at, uh, 4,073, uh, an increase of, uh, 64, uh, and, uh, the UK variant, uh, the last number was, uh, given, uh, was, uh, yeah, 97, uh, in the region, uh, because there's no, uh, new, uh, update, uh, however, it's, uh, in the rest of, uh, Ontario now, but, uh, I'll get to that. So I don't. So uh, I'm in last video. Last video I, I mentioned how it's in all um, every single uh, region uh, in Ontario. So uh, that's trouble. So uh, yeah, and the government uh, has not not done much with uh, screening because uh, not all uh, apparently uh, screening uh, places uh, the labs have uh, screening uh, te technology. So uh, that can detect. In t detect the uh, India double mutant variant, in Indian variant. So uh, that sucks. So, uh, so vaccines, you know, you can uh, you know sign up for vaccines. Uh, down, you know, details are down below. I don't have to tell you. Uh, you know, I sh you probably should know by now. So, they uh, also have the. the Phase one, two, three. Rules down below too. Uh, okay. So uh, I want to talk about uh, the the India the variant, uh, the India double mutant variant, uh, or the nickname uh, Delta variant. Uh, but I I prefer India variant because uh, yeah. Because the nickname that uh, thing is that uh, I think it's overrated. So, uh, Dr. Lawrence Lowe, uh, you know, the medical officer of health for Peel Region, uh, said that uh, even though inf infections have dropped in the virus hotspot uh, in Peel Region, uh, too, uh, uh, the don't. So, uh, the India of that variant uh, could uh, cause a, a resurgence, uh, which is bad news. 
Oh, God. So scientific ev evidence uh, shows people with the one uh, vaccine though the last protected against the highly infectious uh, India, the dummy mutant variant, uh, which is poised uh, to become uh, dominant in uh, Pure Region uh, this month. Uh, and uh, so I would, uh, eh, eh, would, uh, eh. So, India, the oh, Delta variant, it's going to, oh, it's going to take over the UK variant spot and uh, become, uh, take the number one spot right now. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, yeah, Dr. Dr. Lawrence Lowe said, uh, went on, uh, said that people should continue, continue to limit their contact, contact with uh, people out, uh, outside, uh, follow uh, public health uh, measures and do not have uh, large gatherings when rest restrictions uh, loosen. Uh, so when Friday starts, uh, of course, uh, it, you know, there's going to be like 10 people like maximum outside, uh, but there are going to, but he know he knows that there's going to be people uh, breaking the rules. Uh, so uh, if we, if people uh, don't break the rules, then, uh, you know, Play it safe, uh, you know, which is following restrictions, uh, you know. So there were like, uh, you know, things will be better. Things will be better. And uh, as he quoted, uh, it's not time, fully time to fully start to celebrate. Uh, we must continue to emerge gradually at a live dinner, reopening the, you know. So the patio dining, limited retail shopping, and outdoor. Gathering there up to 10 people will be permitted on uh, starting Friday along with the other out mostly uh, outdoor activities uh, so uh, also ex exercises too uh, yeah and um, so uh, they uh, urge uh, people to get vaccinated uh, as soon as uh, possible and get their second doses uh, when eligible so uh, and uh, there is a uh, like uh, you know the the, oh, yeah. You could get their, your uh, second vaccine shot, and if uh, everyone uh, gets it uh, first, like, you know, yeah, that they get their first shot already, and then uh, those uh, who are eligible, so the 80 plus uh, were at the already, uh, yeah, and then the seven, it's the 70 plus right now, so, uh, the whole, who knows, I think it may, might be the 65 plus right now, or... And then, uh, and then 50 plus, uh, yeah. So, uh, Dr. Eileen De Davila, you know, the Tor Toronto's top doc medical uh, doctor of a health, of a health, uh, she, she said, uh, the prom province's reopening must happen gradually. Gradually, because like you know, if we just don't, like, we don't oh, open it like you know, like ah, like, oh, like, you know, like you can do this, you can do, you know, we can't just like open everything. Uh, she's she said that uh, we should grow up it gradually, like because of the India variant. Uh, so she's also uh, concerned about that one, uh, and some parts, uh, and some parts of uh, Toronto uh, are effective. Uh, Attack. So, uh, the India, the variant of the, uh, as a part, have affected uh, some neighborhoods. Uh, I, uh, I'm not, yeah, and that's troublesome. And of course, uh, Toronto would be your target. And, uh, and uh, she's uh, watching uh, like uh, what's going to happen in Toronto, and if if things get worse, uh, you know, you know, regulations. So uh, she reported there there's 122 uh, cases in Toronto currently. So uh, the, so uh. So, so uh, there was a second case uh, of uh, in the uh, Porcupine uh, County, but uh, but uh, the, uh, there was no no number given. Uh.
and North uh, uh. So uh, the porcupine count county the so the porcupine uh, health unit in charge of the porcupine uh, health you know county that uh, region uh, they want they won't be uh, opening up uh, on a uh, Friday so uh, they're going they're the going, you know, going to be the only ones that uh, yeah being pushed back so they're still going to be like yeah they they won't and be entering a uh, stage one one just yet. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, yeah, yeah. So the porcupine uh, health unit, uh, they said, I know it's unfortunate, but that's it's because of the India variant, yeah. and it's much more uh, easier. Like, it spread more easier than uh, you know the UK variant, uh, you know. And more transmissible, as uh, you know, as mentioned, and uh, can affect uh, people a lot more. Uh, <laughs> and they also uh, mentioned uh, it's affecting uh, our community. That and it's important that uh, everyone follows the health, public health union, health measures that they're diligently and uh, limit contact with others we do not live with that. So that is uh, something uh, that we have uh, been hearing from like every single health unit in every single region. So yeah, so yeah, we need to like limit those. So the... For them uh, in uh, Porcupine uh, County, uh, okay. talk to you later. Uh. Anyone 16 and, 16 and older could book their second uh, coronavirus vaccine after 28 days, uh, you know, the four weeks. Yeah. Uh. So, citing the need for uh, protection. Increased protection against the uh, in Indian uh, variant. Uh, uh, uh. So uh, another thing I want to talk about, uh, and uh, this, uh, yeah, and I'm actually I was actually hoping for this one too. Uh, so that in vehicle uh, road uh, tests are to resume uh, in Ontario uh, starting uh, Monday. So. Uh, so it's not going to start Friday, it's going to start Monday. So uh, in-vehicle road testers are set to resume in mon on Monday. So Transportation uh, Minister Carolina Mulroney, uh, she uh, first tweeted the news uh, this week. Uh, so this uh, move allows for the resumption of the G2, G and motorcycle M2 and M tests. Uh, According to the drive test uh, website, uh, so uh, don't look in the book a new new appointment at the drive test location. You can do so online. So. <laughs> so a spokesperson for the ministry Ministry of the Transportation that uh, said uh, driving tests have been canceled throughout the province a few times during the pandemic. Uh, of course, uh, through uh, April, I wanna. You know the when the stay at home off order was a, uh, was the second one that uh, was uh, implemented. Uh, so, uh, so all of uh, all of uh, in vehicle of uh, the road, road test will uh, resume uh, with the restrictions. Uh, with the problem, the enter the step one uh, starting Monday, not Friday. Monday. So this is uh, through uh, high demand. Uh. So drive test uh, centers that will remain open for inside services such as like knowledge tests, like you know the written test, uh, so like uh, G one, you know that we now that. And 
other than that. Uh, and, but with the uh, capacity restriction, then other uh, coronavirus uh, measures. Uh, so uh, there, so uh, prevention. Uh, so uh, the government uh, is uh, officials that uh, said uh, they're the in investing more than sixteen million uh, to increase road testing capacity uh, through the progress to address the backlog of, caused by uh, COVID nineteen. So uh, oh, that's not good news. So, so the funding, as uh, they said, will include hiring 167 uh, temporary examiners, uh, you know, expanding testing hours, uh, increasing support staff, and implementing weekend testing where demand is highest. Uh, and six uh, temporary drive test locations uh, will be opened uh, in the Greater uh, Golden Horseshoe uh, starting in uh, September. September, uh, so, uh, so, so, uh, the government said these measures are also in addition of 84 temporary examiners, uh, announced that last, uh, fall, so, uh, uh. so, uh, I've been, uh, waiting, uh, for, to get my, uh, G2, uh, license, uh, uh G by uh, doing the road test uh, and I, I I couldn't because uh, of uh, coronavirus uh, stopping me from doing it so uh, yeah that was the only thing that was stopping me from doing it so <laughs> I'm actually happy I'm happy about this <laughs> so you know we just need to be be careful of the, the, the India the uh, variant, uh, you know. That's going to be uh, the new uh, high variant, high variant, and uh, our new biggest uh, threat. Uh, and uh, one hundred twenty-two in uh, uh, Toronto. That's actually the second high. The highest in Canada that I have heard of. Uh, it tops uh, Ottawa's uh, number one. It's uh, right, right below uh, Ottawa's uh, 141 uh, deaths. And of course, and Peel region's at uh, 97. And uh, British, Col British Columbia, and uh, uh. also, uh, there was a thirty six uh, somewhere. So, uh, just remember that, uh, Officers uh, can uh, break up uh, gatherings uh, over five, uh, you know, you know the fines. I don't have to explain it. You should know it. It's about 750 per person, uh, you know, down, uh, 880 uh, for, uh, for to ride checks, uh, 1,000 for preventing others from following orders, uh, 10,000 uh, for the, those who organized and planned the gathering, then uh, 1 million if severe and possibly jail time. So, uh, hospitalizations, uh, so, uh, yeah, had, uh, it has somewhat lowered to, uh, 571 uh, people hospitalized, uh, minus 50. So, uh, 390 patients are in ICU, okay, minus, uh, 7, and, uh, 314, uh, ICU patients are using a ventilator, plus 9. So, uh, this is, the uh, better than April and, uh, May, uh, results, uh, going, uh, lower. So, uh, 
long-term care home death uh, has surprisingly increased to 3,780, uh, so uh, that's a uh, plus three. Since uh, since June sixth number, uh, that was, which was unchanged until uh, yeah, June the ninth, uh, three days later, <laughs> staff death has not changed. Uh, still at thirteen, and uh, nineteen uh, deaths are the outbreaks right now. Uh, <laughs> Which is like a minus one uh, from a uh, from the last day. Uh, uh. So uh, please uh, follow coronavirus safety rules and regulations, and uh, only and alter rule only for uh, tomorrow, and then. Uh, And uh, and also phase one off rules uh and uh when that they start on Friday. Please do not have gatherings over five and uh uh starting Friday do not have any uh gatherings over ten outside. Officers that uh, have uh, every reason and have a hundred percent right to stop you of any gatherings and disperse them. So, uh, so back, sign up for vaccination. Like if they very sex and vaccination, then I could, uh, that's a requirement uh, for uh, the phase, the phase two, uh, uh, We need to have like a seventy percent of our Ontarians uh, vaccinated, uh, getting their first shot, and then in phase to get get to phase three. Uh, so it depends per region. Uh, depends by rated by the local health unit, uh, and also uh, the to phase three is uh eighty percent. Uh, for my what I so uh, stay safe. Sign up for back your vaccines. The website sort of changed. Uh, ah, I've uh, noticed. Uh, so, so the, there's the two options. Uh, so uh, there's a uh, you can sign up for for your first vac vaccine shot or your second vaccine shot. So it depends uh, on uh, who you are. Like you know. If you haven't uh, gotten your, your vaccine shot yet, stay safe.